G'day and welcome to another Pokemon Go video. So jumping into Go Battle League, and as you can see, currently are at 23.14 and looking to uh, boost above the ace rank uh, for Season 7. So um, if you're new to the channel and like what you see, um, please feel free to subscribe. Always helps uh, the channel grow and for other people to uh, see the content. So um, yeah, let's jump in and see what we get so all leagues are open um, but I'm going to jump into the Great League and going to be running Diggersby with Mudshot, Fire Punch and Earthquake, Skarmory with Air Slash, Sky Attack and Brave Bird and Galvantula with Volt, Switch, Lunge and Discharge so let's um, jump in and we'll see what we get so obviously with Diggersby on the lead you want well you don't want to be hitting grass or water uh, we'll see what we get. Uh, you also don't want to be hitting fighting, so Medicham on the lead. So this is not ideal here. Um, so I'm going to swap out into uh, Galvantula and oof, I've got a, a Bastiodon to uh, counter that. So that's not ideal, so I'm just going to have to throw um, these lunges and try and do as much chip damage as I can can before this thing is able to uh, charge me all of the way down. So um, the idea here will be to lunge away, uh, get a uh, get as much uh, sort of debuffing as I can on this uh, Bastiodon and then come in with uh, Diggersby and farm down and then be able to hopefully uh, throw a charge move on whatever they have. Um, so really hoping to be able to match this up okay in the back, but we'll see what they've got. So um, Stone Age is coming through and does absolutely no damage. So it's looking okay for me so far. Um, getting to another charge move here, which is fine. Um, it should be a flamethrower that's going to do, I think, a little bit more than a Stone Edge, but no, nope, another Stone Edge comes through. So unless I've only got one charge move, um, not really sure. So expecting the Medicham to come back out, and let's see what they want to do. Unless, of course, I've got something else that can handle this. Um, so going to go straight for the Earthquake here, and let's hope they decide to no shield this. If they no shield of uh, in a little bit better of position um, and they know shield it so that's looking good and I'll switch into my Skarmory now and oof brutal so um, I can pretty much do nothing to this with um, my Skarmory and they're going to be able to rock slide me down so this is going to be a a rough battle to try and win um, we'll see what they want to do so still have two shields um, and the difficulty here is obviously they've got Medicham that still has lots of energy so they'll be throwing power up punches even if I do keep these shields so this is not looking ideal for me here so gonna let the well gonna let this uh, rock slide go and look to uh, farm up a little bit extra here um, and see what they want to do so gonna go for the double um, sky attack and also hoping to be able to swap out and uh, so once I finish this my switch clock hopefully will be up yep and I'll be able to swap out and catch whatever move they decide to throw um, out comes Medicham um, and I am, am expecting to see a power up punch which it is but I do have to shield so possibly should have let that first one go um, because they will be getting to another power up punch but that's absolutely fine so uh, I'm going to throw this fire punch and they decide to shield that up so looking good for me so far uh, I'm going to have to shield this one up as well and we'll see what happens here so I know they've got energy on the uh, Ooh, got a little bit of lag there. Um, so I know they've got energy on the 
uh, Galarian Stunfisk. Um, so it's in a very, very rough spot here. So we'll see if we can get to another Fire Punch. And I'm able to get to the Fire Punch. So that's absolutely outstanding. My switch clock wasn't up, so I wasn't able to swap out and save this move, uh, which is unfortunate. But now I'm going to try and swap out so they can't get another move off. And I can't quite get to the Air Slash. Um, so, so close to being able to get to um, the air slash there to take that game. Uh, Diggersby comes out, uh, but they've got back-to-back -back, um, rock slides, and that's going to be enough to take me out. So, really close game there, um, even though I had really hard counters to my uh, my team so not looking uh, not ideal for me there but we'll jump into this next one and hopefully we can uh, run up against a team that's not quite uh, well matched up quite as hard against my team as that one was uh, really hard to get a win there when that's my uh, my options so uh, Bassidon on the lead for this one, so this is much better for me, and we'll see what they want to switch to. So they switch into Shadow Vic, so I'm half expecting this team to be Grass Hole. Um, so I'm going to come out, obviously, with my Skarmory there to match that. Um, get to the, I assume it's going to be a Leaf Blade, I'm going to let this go. I'm not going to do any damage whatsoever. So Leaf Blade comes through, as you can see, does absolutely no damage. And then I can look to completely farm this down, store up a whole bunch of energy. So the only problem here is I know what's going to come out, and that is uh, the Bastiodon. Um, so I'm going to throw the uh, Sky Attack here and do absolutely no damage to it. And I'm going to be looking to far well they're going to be looking to farm me down so this is not ideal for me here um, just because I've got a lot of health there for them to be able to farm me down with um, so yeah so not looking not looking ideal but let's see what they've uh, got so I'm gonna go brave bird now um, really I should have just gone for um, the brave bird from the start uh, because then they wouldn't be able to get quite as much energy farm from me. Um, so a little bit of a misplay there by me. You should have just gone straight Brave Birds um, and got the uh, Skarmory out of the way. So they swap into a uh, Blaziken, and I instantly swap into my um, Galvantula, and I'm just going to go straight for the uh, lunge and hopefully grab a shield. So I'm able to grab a shield, uh, so I'll be doing a little bit less damage. Um, I think this is going to be the um, blast burn, which it is, um, and it does a huge amount of uh, damage there. So I come in with the Diggersby and I'm going to look to farm down so possibly here what I should have done well we'll see uh, so got the second shield with that fire punch so absolutely spectacular uh, unfortunately they are able to get to a charge move just before me I am going to need to shield that up um, and it is another blast burn so good use of the shield there um, and I'm just going to go straight in for the fire punch and see what they want to do. Um, well, I say see what they want to do. They have no shields, and it's not quite enough to take it out, and they instantly swap into the Bastiodon. Um, so, I'm going to shield this up and see what uh, how we go here. So Stone Edge comes through. Um, doesn't do too well. There goes my last shield, and another... Let's hope that this one's a Stone Edge and not a Flamethrower. Um, this one is another Stone Edge as well. And as you can see, it doesn't do too much damage. Um, and what I'm going to do here is over farm by a little bit to try and get to a charge move on their Blaziken. But as you're about to see, so this is obviously going to take it out. Um, had I just so not able to get to the charge move and we both simultaneously faint um, so drawn match there and had I just thrown the earthquake straight away would have had enough uh, energy to take that win so a little bit of a misplay there should have either committed to making sure I had the energy to throw the charge move straight away or thrown my earthquake straight away so we'll jump into this next one and i have a lola marowak on the lead so that's a really really good lead for me um, they swap into the vigoroth 
and I'm a little bit slow on my swap. Um, and I do know that this is going to be a body slam. So usually Vigoroth's running body slam and bulldoze. Um, but I do want to shield that up because uh, it's going to do a little bit more damage than the next one. I'll be able to get a lunge off and debuff it a little bit um, and they let that go through so that's uh, fine with me um, it takes five to i think it's five to get to the body slam nine to get to the bulldoze so this was too quick to be a bulldoze so gonna let this body slam go through and as you can see it does a massive chunk of damage um, so going to look to farm this down and unfortunately, they're just able to get to another charge move. So I'm going to go down two shields here. So this is brutal. Um, but with, I'm just hoping that, um, so going to throw straight into the lunge on the Alolan Marowak here. And let's see if I grab a shield. So unfortunately, not able to grab a shield. Um, and then able to get to the next one because their fast moves were debuffed. I've got one HP and able to get to this second charge move. So definitely worth it. Unfortunately, they shield that one up. So really good for them. Um, not as uh, ideal for me. I do suspect them to swap out of this one straight away anyway, uh, but they're not. So let's see what they want to do. If they're running Shadow Bone and Bone Club, it's going to do absolutely absolutely no damage. Bone Club goes through and does absolutely nothing to me. Out comes the uh, Nine Tails, and I'm just going to go straight for the Earthquake and see if I can grab a, well, hopefully I don't grab a shield, and they no shield it. So that's absolutely spectacular for me there. Um, so I'm going to charge up to the Earthquake there. Well, double double fire uh, punch, and then come in and look to tank some of this energy because the fast moves on Alola Marowak are going to be doing a lot more on my Skarmory uh, so I might as well get, take that well get that taken out a little bit uh, don't throw a charge move and save up a uh, save up there and then going to charge to double uh, sky attack and see what they want to do so uh, hoping to grab that last shield and then I can swap in and throw the earthquake on uh, from my Diggersby, unfortunately, the switch clock is not up, so I'm just going to throw the next one here as well um, and do a little bit more chip damage. Unfortunately, it's not quite enough to take it out, um, and it looks like they're going to be able to fast move farm me down. So hopefully they don't have, well, they have a move charge, um, and they looks like they win CMP. So uh, regardless of what it is, Bone Club's coming through, not going to do enough to KO here. Um, and then obviously my Earthquake is uh, definitely going to be enough to take the win here. So good game there. Um, so what I should have done is just thrown straight up Brave Bird on the Scar well on the Marowak from my Skarmory and that would have taken it out. So a little bit longer to get to the win, but still wanted to, um, yeah. Thankfully, was able to uh, to get that to get that win. So, jumping into the next one, and we'll see how we go. So, one heavy loss, one draw, uh, which I should have won, um, and then I win. So, on the lead, Galarian Stunfisk on the lead. So, absolutely perfect. My backline does not want to see this. So, let's see if they want to switch this out, and they swap into a Pelipper, and I'm a little bit slow to my swap into the Galvantula because it means I do not get to the charge move at the same time as them. So going to have to let the weather ball go apparently. Um, and this one I am just going to look to charge all the way down. Unfortunately, I am not able to get there, so I'm going to have to shield this up. I'm going to go into the shield deficit here, and had I swapped quicker, I would have been able to charge them down before they're able to get to that second charge move. So now I'm expecting to see the um, Galarian Stunfist come back out, and what I'm going to do is obviously lunge it. I'm going to want to put as much hurt into that thing as I possibly can, um, and we'll see what we get. So. No shield there from them, which is absolutely fine. And as I expected, I'm going to throw into the next lunge and see what they want to do. So they shouldn't get a shield here either, so no shield for that as well. Um, and they're going to be charging up a lot of energy from me here, which is really not ideal. Um, but 
absolutely uh, fine. Going to come in with the uh, Galeria, well, Galeria. Going to come in with my um, Diggersby, charge up a little bit of extra energy, and then they swap into Cresselia, so I counter swap into my um, Skarmory. So this is a really good matchup. So they're going to be, yep, there's the Moonblast. So they're probably going to be running Grass Knot and Moonblast. Both of those are resisted. Um, Obviously, Moonblast is single resisted, whereas um, Grass, well, Grass Knot is double resisted. So Moonblast coming through and not doing too much damage, which is absolutely fine by me. I'm going to let that go. Going to come in. I need to save my shield for the uh, Diggers Beat in the back. I'm going to go through that uh, Sky Attack and see what they want to do. At some point, they have got to start shielding this thing up. Uh, I'm not sure when they're going to start using those shields. We'll see if we get one this time. So still no shield. That is absolutely insane. Um, and then they swap into their Galarian Stunfist. They're going to have a Rock Slide prepped and ready to go, but it doesn't do enough damage to take me out. And so now they're fairly low on health, so I'm actually just going to throw these fire punches and see if I can start burning some shields. So let's see what they want to do here. Um, I have to save this, even if it is an earthquake. Um, the Grass Knot's probably going to do more damage, and obviously it's more efficient, and it was the Rock Slide bait, so that is absolutely huge. I'm now able to go into the fire punch here and see if they're going to shield this up so they do shield up the fire punch so that's absolutely massive and i'm able to get to the second fire punch before they can get to their earthquake and we'll see what uh, if this is enough to ko from this range and it is it's uh, enough to ko out comes the Cresselia, uh, expecting a Grass Knot to come through here. Um, so we'll shield this up, and it is the Grass Knot. So really good shield there. I'm going to look to... No, nope, don't need to farm down. They say, thank you very much. Good game. Bye-bye. Um, so able to take that game in the end, even going down those two shields at the start. So slow swap into the Pelipper. Um, had I swapped in straight away, I would have been, I should have been able to stop them getting to a second charge move. I was just slow on that swap in. So um, something to be mindful of, uh, watch for the swap, especially when your um, diggers be meets uh, Galarian Stunfisk, they are going to swap that out. Um, so really should have been more, should have been on that a little bit faster than I was, but I mean, still got the win, so happy days. So we'll jump into this last one and see what we get. So this is an awful, awful lead for me. So I'm actually going to swap into my um, Galvantula because I expect to see them swap out, and they come in with their a Lolan Raichu. So they clearly don't have a hard counter to this, which is absolutely fine by me. Going to throw the um, Lunge there, because Lunge is going to be super effective against the Psychic type that is the uh, Lolan Raichu. Going to shield that one up. And the reason for that, unfortunately, they're able to get to another charge move. A Lolan Raichu just charges so very quickly. Um, gonna let this one go thunder punch comes through and it doesn't do too much damage unfortunately we did see mp tie um, and i do suspect that they will not be shielding this one up and they don't but it is enough to ko um, so absolutely brutal on that um, and let's see what comes out now so is the empoleon going to come back out so empoleon comes back out which is insane um, able to do a lot of chunking damage there which is really good i'm going to come in with my skarmory because obviously i don't want empoleon matched up against my skarmory and expecting a swap out here um, so still not swapping out i'm going to let this go i need to save that shield because i don't want my diggers to be hit by a hydro cannon so i'm going to save that shield and then they instantly swap out so i'll match that and uh, come in with the diggers here so we've both got a shield in the bag i'll charge up to double fire punch here and then let's uh, let's throw um, no reason to, uh, well, don't want to bait because if they 
let it go, not looking good for me, and I'm able to get it through and get to the next fire punch. So really good here for me. Uh, let's see what they want to do. Uh, so fire punch coming through and they just let it go uh, not quite enough to KO just one little HP left um, and let's see what uh, comes through next so out comes Empoleon and I'm going to shield this up if I can get to another fire punch I should be in a pretty good position here we'll see if they want to shield this up and unfortunately a little bit of lag there so I did actually um, over farm by quite a bit I expect to get the shield for this one and I'm going to swap that out and then come in with the sky attack um, and uh, take this game so this will be enough I hope to take it out it is even though it is not very effective uh, enough to take it out um, bit of a combo play there to finish that one off and able to go well three wins one draw one loss um, in my first set of uh, Great League since I've reopened it back up. So really happy with that. And let's see what our reward is. Rufflet. So another Rufflet as a reward. Still like to see him. Um, and hopefully I can get a little bit of uh, extra candy there. Ugh, brutal throw. Um, and you're about to see a couple more absolute bricks of throws so if you want to see a uh, how you improve your excellent throws i'll link to a video now and you can check that out but um thanks for watching and like i said if you're new to the channel and you like what you see don't forget to hit that subscribe button um so you can help support the channel grow um for now we'll see if i can actually hit one of these and doesn't help when it's jumping uh, but absolute brick of a throw there absolutely horrible um, and it does not want to stay in the ball so we'll actually try and get an excellent throw here finally able to get one so that should mean that it's going to stay in uh, we'll find out so there we go staying in happy days bit of extra candy and do I get any XL candy Oof, one XL candy happy days not that it's going to be that useful but who knows always good to get a little bit of extra xl candy um 23 14 is the score to beat and we're at 23 42 so looking good so far slowly making my way up to 2500 uh to breach into the next uh ranking band but thank you very much for watching hopefully that was uh, useful for someone and uh, i'll see you in the next one bye for now